Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel where I love to bring you the best tips and tools for creating beautiful home decor on a budget. Today I am so excited to be sharing with you some items that were sent to me from Timu. They have such a variety of crafting supplies, home decor, clothing, storage basics, you name it, they have it. Stationery, office products. Um, I was just shocked when I went on the website and saw the variety of items. So I was contacted by Timu. They let me choose some items that I thought you, my viewers, would be interested in seeing. All of these items are listed with their links in the description of this video, as well as the prices. And I will tell you, the prices are amazing. Timu right now has a spring and Easter sale happening where some items are up to 90% off. Shipping is always free. They have a 90 day return policy. And I'm just really, really impressed with the items that were sent to me. So I'm excited to share those with you today. The first set of items that I wanted to share with you are Easter items. Now, there are lots more than what I'm going to show you, but I wanted to show you some things that I thought I could use in my DIYs. So, the first item is this three-piece pack. These are unfinished wood, and they're rather, you know, a good size. They're thin but you could make some amazing things with this. I love this bunny shape. And then there's also this bunny shape and an egg as well. And like I said, those came in a pack of three. You could do a variety of things with those. Some of the other items, and a lot of these um, are still in the packaging because I wanted to share them with you. This is just a bunny shape. I actually got three of these. I don't believe this was available as unfinished, but I thought, you know what, I could um, doll this up. I have three children, which is why I got three of them. And I thought I could either paint the other two a different color. I could add their names to them. But these are nice and thick. And again, like I said, all of these are linked in the description of the video for you to be able to go check out for yourself. And of course, you know, bunnies, they're good all season long. Let's see, what else? I've got some beaded garlands here. Looks like I got two paint. Let me just show you one of these. These seem to be really good quality. They're very long. Oh my goodness. This has got to be like four feet long with some pastel beads. Really nice jute tassel. And then it's got this peep on the end. So this came in, I believe, pink, blue, and purple are some of the ones that I had. So these could be great just to use as they are for your tiered tray decor um, on a mantle. You could put a couple of them together and create a garland. Really, really nice quality. I can tell those are really nice beads. Okay. Some of the other Easter decor things or spring decor, I thought these were adorable. These come in a little pack of 20. They're little sitting bunnies. And these little stands come separate, but all they do, once you paint or decorate your bunny how you want it, um, these little stands go on. And this pack came with 20 of the bunnies, unfinished wood, and then... 40 of the little stands so you could make them stand up. Super duper cute. All right, here's another item. I haven't actually opened it yet. Um, I believe they're called like little Easter ornaments, but what they are is they're unfinished wood, but then they have a design on the one side, a little bead and a jute hanger. I know some people like to do Easter trees. This set is four different designs. Sorry two different designs. You get six of each of a little gnome driving an Easter truck and he's got like eggs in the back. Aren't those adorable? And they come in a really nice four part um, wood tray. Kind of like the ones you would see at Hobby Lobby but with unfinished little ornaments. So these are the gnome Easter trucks. 
All right, some other unfinished items. This is a pack of wooden eggs. It came with two different sizes, and these are solid. So these are 2.2 inches, and then the other ones are 1.3. So it came with, let me see, I think six of each. Six of the big ones and four of the small ones. So these would be great to paint, have your kids or your grandkids paint them. They could even paint them with Sharpie markers. Um, and you could fill these in a little dough bowl or something for springtime or Easter. Very, very cute. And again, I was shocked at the low prices during this sale. All right, let's see. What else am I going to show you next? This was an unfinished sign that could be painted. Actually, really good size. And it comes with a burlap bow. He is risen, and it's got the three crosses there. It's actually pretty thick. I can smell that it was cut on one of those um, laser cut machines, but really good quality. A lot thicker than the ones from Dollar Tree that, you know, sometimes are, it's a little um, sketchy that it's going to maybe break. This was another one, probably in the same uh, area. This one has a double bow, burlap, and a little gingham. I maybe would cut that a little shorter so that you could see fully this beautiful laser cut cross with the vines and the he is risen and you've got the doves down here really really pretty again thicker than the dollar tree ones has a jute hanger on the back these would be really nice to paint and maybe add to a wreath or something like that all right whoops there goes my bunny a couple more easter items they did have these really cute stuffed carrots. I just got one just to kind of see what it was like, but it was really cute. It's got like a little gingham fabric pattern and some little felt leaves. These would be cute. You could cut off the jute twine if you wanted and put it in a dough bowl. All right, this is a ribbon. I don't know if it's necessarily considered an Easter ribbon, but I loved the pastel colors. It is wired. Super cute pastel. Um, plaid, I guess. It is only one-sided. It's white on the other side, but it is finished on the edges with yellow and does have wire in it. Let me see if it tells me how, it doesn't tell me how long it is, but again, the link will be in the description of the video. Now, I got a lot of items in my box, and I'm going to tell you, this is the only one that seems to have suffered some uh, injury during travel. But they had these different bunny ear headbands. And it just looks like a few of the flowers fell off. Okay, the flowers are still here. They can be glued back on. It's not a complete tragedy. But I saw this one that had the little butterflies and thought it was super cute. So that is honestly the one thing that didn't survive the shipment. Um, but I can easily put this back together. And I just thought that would be really, really cute on a little bunny decoration. So those are the Easter items I got. I'm going to be back here. Um, I'm going to share with you some other items I've gotten. Mostly I have some scrapbooking tools and supplies. I have some other general craft supplies. I also have some storage items that I can't wait to share with you. Okay, I am ready to share with you some of the scrapbooking and paper crafting items I received from Timu. I was very curious to um, see the quality, especially for the low prices that are listed on their website. So some of these items I want to actually try out for you, but let me get them organized. So the first thing I want to share are these 48 count dual tip brush pens. They come in this really nice... Uh, snap pouch and inside the markers are actually in two trays so you've got a tra let me just take both of them out okay so you've got a tray that has in rainbow order all your reds pinks oranges yellows and greens and then the second tray has a couple more greens your blues your purples browns grays and a black now these have 
two different tips. Let me find a pretty dark color to be able to show you. So you can see on the package, it says there's a brush tip on this end and a fine tip on this end. Now, this is my first time getting them out of the package. I'm very pleased with how wet the marker is on the brush side. Let me see how the, the fine tip is really nice as well. So here you can see the two different tips and so many colors, 48 different colors. I really like how they all have the little spot, the compartment. You can probably take this out and then as you're done using them, just slide them back into your case. And these would be great um, for kids to be able to take. Now let me look. These are watercolor markers, odorless, non-toxic. Okay, so the two different tips. So I was really impressed with those. I thought they were a really great price and a good quality. All right, uh, I of course love this scrap of paper. So I ordered, let's see, this set is called Retro Flowers. And there were three different, there might've been more, but I ordered, these are six inches square, I believe. I ordered three different sets, but I love the images. These are probably my favorite. I like the pastels and then these as well. So I got these to try them out um, with making some of my scrapbooks. Um, it says vintage material paper flower. 140 um, millimeters by 140. Oh, I thought it was just loose paper, but they're actually on a pad. That is really nice. So it's not just a bunch of loose pieces of paper. Now this is pretty thin. This would be great for decoupage because it would take that Mod Podge really well. Let me just measure, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so they're five and a half inches square and you get 50 sheets on each of these little tablets. So I think that is uh, an amazing deal. I'm gonna grab one piece because I have a couple other, okay, I will say, now I didn't, I kind of took that out quickly, but um, let me see, you might wanna be careful removing your pieces, like really work it back and forth. Oh yeah, that was much better before taking it out. And then you can remove it without getting the jagged edge. But I'm gonna take one of these with the jagged edge because I wanna try out, they had a paper cutter. And I believe you can also get replacement blades. I thought I saw that as well on their website. So we're gonna try out this paper trimmer, or paper cutter, excuse me. Okay, it's got your directions. Now this one um, is, it does not have an arm to extend. Okay, so let's take our little piece of paper here. I will say that this one flips up from the right to the left and most of my trimmers, I guess I could just turn it around this way, but then you're measuring on this side. That's weird too. So just know that the little bar flips up at least the opposite for mine. You do have a ruler here at the top for one inch, two inch, up to three and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna push down and slide it. And that does a really nice cut. I could see this would be a great cutter to take with you traveling. You may want to um, put some tape or something so it doesn't flap around as you're traveling with it. But I like that feature where you press down on the blade in order for it to cut. That is a nice safety feature. And that makes a really nice straight cut. So, nice little trimmer. Probably wouldn't be the one I use all the time if I'm cutting a lot, but for on the go, that would be a really great choice. The other tool that if you've watched me on my channel, you've seen me use a scoreboard. So they did have this blue plastic scoreboard. It came with a little bone folder. It looks like it's kind of attached in there. You gotta, let's see, there we go, remove it. And 
This also could be a great option for taking items uh, if you're going to work on some paper crafting. Now, again, the measurements start on the right-hand side, which is a little different for me. But um, this thin paper, this bone folder pretty much cuts it. But if I had my thicker paper, this um, actually works really well for just scoring. And then you'd be able to fold, fold your paper cleanly on the line. And then your little bone folder pops right in there and you can take it with you. So a nice little travel. This would be a great beginner um, scoring tool if you were, or scoreboard, if you were thinking about getting started with those products. All right, I did get a couple more pads of paper. These are called, these are um, more like four by, four by five maybe, and you get, I think, 100 sheets. These are more really pretty floor. I like that it has this band around it to kind of hold them all together, but they are attached at the top. Let me see if I can, there we go. Just kind of show you. They're about the same thickness, but I feel like these would be really great for decoupage projects. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I got a couple different ones. That one is more the floral. This one is more plants. So a little bit more the darker colors but again I want to say these were like a couple bucks a piece if that so be sure to check those out if you want some inexpensive options for your scrapbooking projects all right I did also order to try out their double-sided red tape so we call this sticky tape oh it's even in two different bags okay there we go so this is super sticky. I can already tell. That's probably why they put it in two bags. Um, it's pretty thick. So what you do with this is like if you're um, doing scrap, making scrapbooks, you would lay this down, burnish it, and then you'd peel off the plastic on the other side. Whew. It's got an adhesive smell to it, but um, I look forward to trying that out with my projects as well. One more tool, well, I guess I have two more scrapbooking tools. I got their little corner, pound, corner punch. So this is just called, it's just a light green corner punch. So let's get some of that paper that I cut and let's try this out. So you just are gonna wanna stick the corner in there and then you press down. And it's got a nice, I like the size of that uh, round. It's my other corner rounder. It would be, you know, more of a broad rounding of the corner. But I actually really like that. It's really easy to use. It looks like it holds all your little scraps here in the back. So again, another great either for travel or for a beginner. Or if you have a, a child or a teen that wants to start scrapbooking possibly, you could order some of these supplies to get them started. The other thing they would need would be an adhesive runner. And they had these adhesive runners. Now again, it's in millimeters, but it says it's eight meters. So I think that's about 24 feet, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but it has a little, let me just open one. There were different colors, and I don't think the colors meant anything different because they just both say dot tape. So I think it's just the color that you can see in there. there we go. Packaging, nice and small. Okay, so this is kind of nice. Instead of it being a separate piece, the cap, it just flips up. That's really nice. Because a lot of times I lose the caps. Let's see. Am I holding it the right way? Want to make sure. Oh, I was holding it upside down. That was user error. Okay. They even have little bumps here to show you where to hold. So there's the adhesive. Pretty sticky. That would definitely work for your scrapbooking projects. And then when you're done, you just flip that back up so it doesn't stick to other things. These were very inexpensive. I want to say like maybe a dollar a piece. All right. 
I have a few more packs of paper. I also have some, these are real pressed flowers that I believe are, they've made them into stickers, plant flower embossing. So I just got a few of those to try. These would make really pretty, like if you do the resin or anything like that. I thought those were really nice. I also got one of their clear stamp sets, or yeah, I guess it's a set. They're all on one sheet. So you would need um, stamping blocks for these. They are sticky on the back, but of course I had to get the one with the butterflies, the Monarch butterflies. It also says, have a blooming marvelous day. If nothing ever changed, there'd be no butterflies. I love that. Just because, hello, happy. Uh, then it's got birthday, retirement, anniversary, new home. So you could make a lot of different little cards with this. And then color in your images once they're dry with your brush pens. All right, I did get a couple packs of 12 by 12 paper. This one I'm very excited about. It's called All the Best. But look at those pretty florals and rads. Let's just see how thick these papers are. Okay, I can already tell you these are thicker than those pads. This is actually pretty thick scrapbook paper. 160 GSM. And let me see how many different ones you get. 12 sheets. Okay, so you get one of each design. I'll just show you. These are really nice. Bird houses. Ooh, that would be pretty for like a title page. This one has some bunnies on it. That one's. So some of them have all over patterns. I love these plaids. And some of them have space, like let me show you this one in the middle, that you could definitely put pictures or some sort of title. But these are great quality. Again, this one's called All the Best, and these will be linked in the description of the video. This one is called Stone. So I think they're all just kind of marble and stone looking patterns. Oh, those actual stones. Oh, these remind me of my grandpa. He was big into different kinds of stones and things. And then this one's called Basics. I'm not sure if they're all polka dots. Let's see. Yep, all polka dots, but in like the basic colors. Well, that'll be fun. That would be fun to add to some of your other scrapbooking projects. So I feel like these are really good quality papers um, that you could definitely do some projects with. Uh, that is all of the scrapbooking supplies. I'm going to come back next with just some general craft items, like for general crafts to use any time of year. Okay, now I have some general craft supplies to share with you that I received from Timu. Um, first, I thought this was fabulous. My 17 year old daughter loves to make friendship bracelets. And this, I believe came with 100 different colors of this thread all in the little, um, they even have the numbers, which I'm pretty sure would be the same as the numbers of the ones that you can buy like at Walmart and stuff. So really fun. So I got that for her. I thought she would enjoy making some bracelets. But again, these are linked in the description. Another thing I was super excited about, these are solid wood. These are two inch cubes. Really nice, solid quality. Some are a little rough, so I may, you know, depending on what you were making, you might wanna sand them. Definitely real wood. And I believe these came in a pack for just a little over a dollar a piece, which actually, is a really good price. However, they might be on sale right now, so be sure to check the link. But these came in a pack of 12 two inch cubes. Another thing I was really excited about were these wood. Again, these are cut on a laser cutter. 
slightly thicker than the circles from Dollar Tree. You know what I like to do sometimes, it, especially if they're inexpensive, is I like to double them up. I would glue two of them together, clamp it until they're done. These are 12 inch circles, great deal. Blanks on both sides, so you can do lots of different crafting with those. Along with that same theme, I also got, and they're taped shut, I believe this is a set of 50. These are also blank wood, and they are slightly on the thin side, but these would be great. They're, I think they're four inches. Yep, four inches square, thin wood, rounded corners. These would be great to make. Scrabble tile decor, you could paint them, put letters on them, make them spell whatever you want. You get 50 of them. Fabulous, fabulous deal. All right, this was just um, some cardstock cards that could be used in your crafting. It just was a pack that had craft, black, and white. I will say the white is kind of like smooth on one side but definitely could be used for um, matting photos, for an album, things like that. This item I don't remember ordering, but it's a little happy birthday banner. It even comes with the ribbon and the needle. You could hang that. So even party decor, you guys, anything you need, you can go on there and they probably, probably have it. All right, this item, I think it's more of a decor item, but I was thinking it could be changed up also as a DIY. This smells like it has actual stain on it. Let's see what it says. Wooden tray. Um, yeah, I don't know, but it's very, very nice. Like, this could just be out on your coffee table and you could put your little seasonal decor on it. This was not very expensive at all. You could also DIY it if you wanted to. All right, we've got, they have wood beads galore. I showed you the wood eggs already. This is just a long strand of natural wood beads. You've got a jute uh, tassel on either side. So leave it as it is for your decor or DIY it, change it up. I thought these were fun. You can make a little mini garland with these. They had them in different color schemes. These little, they're probably like half inch. Yep, like half inch little felt balls. I happened to get the um, spring ones because I thought for making an Easter type DIY, which will be coming in a future video. Now, what I didn't tell you is that I had actually ordered a few things from Timu before they contacted me about trying some things out. And this was one of the items that I ordered. I did use this in a project and I really liked these. These are half inch split uh, wood beads. You get a hundred of them for like a couple bucks. And these are natural woods. So you can glue them down to any surface. All right, a couple more things. This, I believe, was a 15-inch, yep, 15-inch paddle, unfinished wood, very nice beveled edge. I thought this would be really pretty. It has a hole at the top to hang, so you could make this into any personalized decor that you'd like. I also got a bag of 50 of these wood butterflies. Who doesn't love butterflies in the spring? These would be great to add to any project. And then I did also get a few colors of some spring gingham ribbon. This is 10 millimeters wide, which I think is half an inch. Let me see. Oh. They all come, I will say everything comes very nicely packaged in um, plastic or sometimes in boxes if it's something that could this is really good quality ribbon. It's half an inch and you get a lot. Let me see if it tells me how much. No, it doesn't. So on the website, it'll tell you this is a lot of ribbon. And I think this was 98 cents or something like that. So I got the blue and the great thing is it is printed on both sides. So you can make some great little bows with this. So I got the blue, the purple and the pink. 
I'm excited to use those on an Easter or spring project coming up. Okay, that is all the craft supplies that I got. I do have one other category to share with you in just a sec. Okay, and the last category of items I'm going to share with you is storage slash miscellaneous. So um, my girls and I love pens. So I saw this um, large pencil case and I got two. I got one in pink. Let me see if I can open this just to show you how big it gets. Nice. Okay, look at this. So when you have it all the way open, it's got like that fish mouth where it's completely open okay and then you've got this little zipper in the front you see okay this one I might there we go I, think I gotta go all the way one way there we go okay so this little pouch opens up as well so you can have some things here it's got some pockets some little bands and then on the inside, you've got some pockets. There is a zipper on the back. And when it's all zipped, you've got a little handle, which is super cute, a little wristlet type handle. So the zipper, there we go. Once you get it going, that might be the only issue. There's a little bit of fabric there that the zipper sometimes gets caught on so that would be one one thing to look out for so I got the pink one and then we also got the blue one so it should be pretty much the same so around that opening and then when you around that opening it's got like some wire it feels like so that the opening will stay nice and open. And once you have it filled with stuff, it would stand really nicely on a desk. Pretty nice. I'm excited about those. Those will be for the girls to try out. Okay. These are plastic with like a wood lid. It's kind of that bamboo. And these are tissue holders so you could refill. Um, it also said paper towels, so I guess it depends, but I thought this was kind of a nice blank that you could DIY it if you wanted. It looks like they stack on top of each other. So I got the round one as well as the rectangular one, and you can use those for tissues or whatever else. I didn't get this one lined up right. But it does have a little lip there so that the lid doesn't fall all the way down. It just stays on the top. Speaking of boxes, I thought this was really pretty. It's got an engraved um, saying on the front. We are talking about a story of love. It's got these little dandelions. Really nice hardware on the back and even this clasp on the front. They're calling this a sewing box. I love this smell of wood. It's got the little compartments. It's got the, I think these are like to hold your knitting needles maybe, um, but really nice, really nice little gift. You could put some goodies in it and give that to somebody. All right, the last organizing item that I wanted to see are these drawers and they stack on top of each other. They have a little track. Um, they are, however, oops, you know what? I have it upside down. <laughs> there we go. So this is the top where you could stack more and then you've got a little drawer here holds lots of goodies. They came in some really cute colors. I think you could get them individually or in a set. Okay, I had one other cute little thing. This is the miscellaneous category. One more thing I wanted to show you. How adorable is this shirt? I love the bunny with the little leopard print headband. I did get an extra large. This seems a little small for an extra large, but um, if you want it roomier, get a bigger size. I'm thinking it'll probably shrink a little bit, but um, all in all, I am very pleased with what I received from Timu. I hope you'll check out the links below in the description of the video. Make sure you um, check out the code or the link that they're going to provide for a discount for my viewers. 
also stay tuned because I do plan on doing some more videos with DIY projects using items that I received from Timu. So thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you next time.